uh, has better mid range pokes, but Peach definitely a lot better at like the super close range. Oh yeah, the, the um, down smash. Mid range you're usually at in most just interactions in Smash more so than close range. It's harder to get into that position, but Peach has a lot of mix ups with like double jump momentum shifting mm -hmm. to be able to force your way in. So yeah, this like, should be this should be interesting. And like threatening with the dash attack, use that to like get the run up, crouch run, crouch down smashes. Mm -hmm. Uh, down tilt also very prevalent in this matchup nowadays with Peach, because uh, if you don't just like dash away immediately after your perfectly spaced fair, you're just gonna get down tilted, mm -hmm. and then Peach is gonna get a meaty punish because on the ground it is a meteor. Yeah, it does really really good combos. That is true. It's the it's the Falcon Stomp of Peach. <laughs> the the Stomp knee down tilt neutral air, mm -hmm. or down tilt fair even maybe. Yeah, you could you can actually get down tilt fair a lot of the time. It has a a lot of stun. You can probably actually just get down tilt, uh, run around the entirety of <laughs> FX, and then, and then forward air. Pull, turn up, throw it. <laughs> just call your mom, ask her how she's doing. Yeah. All right, we're getting into this match, though. Wow, actually, low profile the F smash there. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, when Peach is on the platform, just constantly harassing her with backers from uh, the side so that she can't get to you is very good. So, Mouth's not at crouch cancel percent anymore, so Hamlin could be a lot more lenient with the moves he chooses to use. Um, at, lot, at low percents, you're just going to see him kind of poking and then dashing away a lot until he gets to those higher percents where um, he'll have forced knockdowns with most of his moves. That forward air going to seal it. Yeah, just that perfect right percent. Oh, I love his needles. Yeah, that is one thing that Hamlin likes to do a lot. That seems like it makes it really, really difficult to, to threaten him off stage. The those that the big full needle charge takes up so much space, just controls that space for so long. That actually worming in there uh, before he can get to the ledge, pretty rough actually. Especially with a character that doesn't have like the greatest horizontal mobility with, as Peach, he's yeah. gonna get caught pretty easily by those. But the needle strikes underneath. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, that's rough. And so, taking a quick lead. So, Sheik actually one of the characters that's relatively good at killing Peach at low percents, just because Needles, when she's forced below the stage, can cause her just not be able to make it to the top. Because her horizontal recovery is amazing, yes. but her vertical recovery actually isn't that good from a distance perspective. Mm -hmm. But now we've got a pretty even game. Yeah, Mirto getting caught off his jump there. This is definitely, they're definitely not making it lame, though. Yeah, they're in each other's face. They are hitting each other far, hard. Oh, okay, very that, nice call up by Mouth. Yeah, that was that was really good. Just noticed Hamlin right above him and hit him with a thick midi up there. Yeah, same. it is not safe to be trying to throw needles through this distance, sir. But Mouth just down tilting the needle that was already on the ground <laughs> yes. away, saying, "This does not need to be here." Yeah, get this out of here. We are. Uh, this is a clean stage. They're almost off the top, though. Yeah. Ooh, wow. the down smash gonna knock him away. Oh, and Mouth <laughs> like. That the tip of that heel may have like touched his nose there. It's so close. Saving his jump. Oh, a little bit of a uh, misspacing on the down smash there. Not going to catch the get up, but that forward air not going to be enough. Wow. Okay. I thought that with that di, that would definitely would have killed. But there's him away. Turns around, but probably thought he was a little closer to the stage and readjusts himself. Yeah, and that get up above 100% is going to be much, much slower, not fast enough to punish the Sheik up beyond the stage. True. Uh, dash tagging the center stage, I don't know what he was trying to do. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going to get a couple of recaps. Wow, actually, DI's in off the up to get the trade afterwards. Mm. That was pretty crafty. Uh, DIing behind is actually something I see a lot of players do on, well, in the Peach Sheik matchup, off the Sheik's down throw, just because. On DI away, they're going to get dash up air or forward air, depending if they're just good at how they're playing the matchup out. But dashing back is just harder to do in melee. Yeah. So uh, usually people are worse, because it's like it's a pretty tight dash if you want to get that up air. Yes. Um, so you'll try to go to, a lot of people will just go for a soft back air, and that's just going to end up trading with Peach's Nair. Back air. Oh, yeah, that air dodge gets punished a little late, but yeah, he's on it. Air. Still going to be enough to finish it off. So I think Hamlin banned FD, uh, which I I like that choice, just because um, Hamlin's a very platform-oriented player. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to Dreamland. Makes sense. Uh, 
This can work, but I feel like neutral can be very rough on this stage. Yep, yeah, does bring the the standard problem of Sheik being able to catching her opponent. Yeah, yeah. but um, he is gonna he's gonna live for a while. Yes, so he is. We will see if that play comes into play. Down throw, reasonable in. Yep. Yep, the young end. Definitely the proper choice there. Not want to be wanting to be sent off stage. Does not analog jump back to get the forward air and just eats a down smash just waiting for him. Very nice dashing by Malvin. And really good needle there, actually, yeah. setting up for a proper offense. Needle forward so interesting. You usually see the needle grab, but I like that choice a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Miojo sitting on that pretty comfortable lead, but he does have, need to make this stock go away. Wow. Yeah, that's rough. And 54% uh, only on Hamlin right now. Now with three stocks, he definitely can do this, but uh, it's going to be harder on a stage this big just to, just to catch him. Okay, nice middle mix up there. Not going for the down smash on shield, instead going straight into grab. Ooh, the down smash catches him. The backer was not was spaced relatively well. Probably could have done a little better, but the main problem is he didn't act soon enough after it. Oh, the chain. <laughs> Definitely not intentional, but gotta love the chain. Though. Gotta love the chain. Oh, yeah. a little bit too low for the air dodge. That was a that was a good idea though. Yeah. I like the attempt, but not in the correct position to make that work. Yeah, I think if he had air dodge just like just a moment sooner, he may have cut the ledge, cut the stage. Needle grab, I really like it. Forward air. Yeah, I like the immediate needle to try to catch him off stage, just to force him a little lower. Yeah, and so the, one of the main st the advantages of the stage, as we mentioned, is that Peach can su survive a lot longer. But we haven't really seen that from Mouth. He's been dying at, uh, I mean, he survived the first stock at, uh, like, until 150, but the needles off stage finished it pretty early. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, early. it wasn't really had anything to do with, like, the kill move. It was more just the needles just kind of caught him at that, per happened to be at that percent. Yeah, yeah, but then, uh, you know, the second stock catching up with the forward air at 110 on the side yeah. of the stage. Not a particularly high percent. Yeah, especially for Peach, Wondering Land. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna do it. That's huge. I think that that might be curtains. Like, yeah. He may have just sealed the game. Yeah. Sheik's tipper up smash actually stronger than Fox's up smash. Is it stronger than Fox's? I don't know that. I know it's uh, strong. But I know Martha's the same strength. I'm pretty sure. And then Sheik and Peach on their tips are stronger than Fox's, and then Pikachu's is still the strongest. Wow, double down smash. Triple down smash. Yeah, this is <laughs> looking rough for a mouth. Yeah. Uh, just running into those uncharacteristically, but trying to get something started. Yeah, good presence of mind from Hamyoto. He's starting to get a feel for uh, when Mouth likes to do the jabs on shield. How often he he'd like. Because there's, there's a bit of a mix up when that, like, whenever Peach does jab your shield, whether or not she's going to do the first jab and then go for stuff, mm -hmm. or the second jab and. If you know when she's going to stop, it's actually kind of unsafe. Uh, yeah. It gives um, you an opportunity to that. But then she can always just go for forward air grab when then that's you really, you're yeah. just stuck there. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the hold that L. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You either roll, you either get out of there or you get grabbed. Yeah, Mewtwo has been doing a pretty good job uh, sniffing out what it is that Mouth wants to do on his shield. on the needles. Power Shield not going to actually do anything with those needles back, back into themselves, but this might be the end. Yes, that down throw forward are going to seal the game. All right, that is it. We're going to get Hamlin and Wobbles here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what Hamlin's going to do. Yeah, if he's going to try Fox still. or I know he was talking about going Marth for a while because he thinks Marth is really well